What is going on guys, this is Ben here, bringing you another Boom Beach video. So before we get started here, I want to take the time to note that this, the last three days I was actually in Platteville, so all those videos that you saw from like PS4, Xbox, and those Boom Beach videos were pre-recorded, and I stayed up like the, it took me like the whole day record from my Bangalore channel and do those, and then I like, it was, it was like 3am in the morning and I could not get the video out for Sunday, um, so when I got back tonight, um, or it wasn't 3am, it was like, 2:30 ish when I left or when I was done making videos on Friday and tried to upload all of them So then when I got back well, I, got, I just got back right now. It's like Or I got back like an hour ago. It's like 2 it's 2 30 right now in the morning uh, So I'm recording this boom beach video had like four hours of driving and then um So I apologize for not having the video for yesterday. So as soon as I get up in the morning I'll edit this and put it up as fast as I can. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed after I record it. So in the morning, you'll see the video. So I apologize for not having that video out on Sunday, guys. But I hope you guys did enjoy a little bit mix-up from my channel of, like, the PS4 and the Xbox games over here. Let me know if you want to see more of those or not. <clears throat> um, other than that, though, excited to be back recording videos again. It was a fun time. Uh, if you didn't know what I was doing, I was visiting my friends in Platteville. That's where I actually used to go to school. And let me make sure I'm boosting the right things here. Um, so yeah, I was visiting them. Didn't really do anything like spectacular that needed recording, but uh, it was just good to chill with them. Haven't seen them in a while. Uh, they're Andrew and Cole, or Andrew and Cole. If you see, you've probably seen them in my videos if you've been subscribed to my channel a while. But you guys see, I have my Alzukas trained up, so I'm gonna do my operation attack. Uh, I'm deciding if I want to boost more GBE. Hmm, I kind of do. And then I just kind of want to wreck with RZM, but there we go. So. I apologize guys for not having the video Sunday, uh, things just, I just couldn't make enough videos, it was, it was my bad. I shouldn't have waited till the last day to do it either, but, oh well. So, for our dead end here, we got Boomtown, which is always a monster, we got Java and Machina, but I'm gonna be attacking Dioxin here, I'm gonna be trying to take it out. Gonna do the Alzuka attack strategy. Gonna go up in here, flare next to that mortar, shock those and shock those. The shock blaster isn't really gonna be in range, neither of these shocks. So it's only the majority of these. These machine guns won't be in range, so I gotta shock these mortars and this. So we should be okay with the amount of GBE that I have, as long as I don't like mess up on the initial dropping of the Zukas. We should be alright. Okay, so we'll do our grouping, and this is my first attack actually in a while. I haven't, I didn't play at Boom Beach much at all that week on the, during the weekend, so my metal count dropped. I gotta rise up, I gotta rise it up, guys. I'm not, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be pushing in metal soon. Um, not exactly sure when, but it will be soon. So that's something that you guys can look forward to. If you want me to push metals, so I know a lot of you guys do enjoy the higher level attacks, the higher metal count attacks. So we're maneuvering with the Zookas here. We're trying our best to get all the way up there. The smokes are getting quite expensive. Mm. All right, our Zookas did not get touched. That's good. Well, actually, I lied. They just did. But other than that, they're doing okay. Um, we're gonna shock these mortars. Actually, gonna say go up in here, shock the other mortar. And if they take all the mortar, that's perfect. Alright, then it's pretty much a GG right now. Because now my Zookas are just gonna go to town, destroy this HQ, and we still have a bunch of GB. I guess I don't even really need to get that. Stuff. We're gonna take that out. Stop killing my Zookas, man. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> so the Zookas are just gonna rain down, but that was a lot of smokes to get up there, dude. Clutching it up. Because uh, my last few attacks have been pretty, pretty bad. Because I've been. They weren't bad, it's just like, 
I don't know, you guys have it where like you misclick and then your troops get all destroyed, but sorry for the not talking. For the, that, was a, that, was, that was a good attack for my first attack in a couple of days though. Big boost, worth it. And my power powder is on the rise and I should be over 100 pretty soon. I think I'm at like 97 right, 96 right now with the amount of boost that I just did. I should have, uh, I'm, I'm making a, stat, a masterpiece right now and I have a bunch of shards I think, so it's, good, it's gonna be good. And hey guys, just wanted to mention too. I was uh, I was not I was dreading the game deck today this Sunday because if the Packers lost that means the Vikings would be the division leaders and they haven't really been the division leaders in a very long time so that was a well, that was a good game for us uh, defense pretty much just did amazing that's why the Packers won but the Vikings are actually really good dude it's it's scary like if Adrian Peterson gets going oh my god but good thing our defense manned up today and was actually able to stop them. Uh, if you're Vikings fans, like, you guys got a good team. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater and a AP, dude, they're gonna be OP. As long as AP stays healthy. But other than that, enough talking about football. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't like talking about football too much because it, it offends some people, like, if I don't like a team, I guess. And I don't really, like, I don't know. Like, I just, I don't have that hatred towards other fans. I just like like the Packers a lot, and that's about it. And if he likes a different team, I don't really care too much. Uh, but other than that, we're gonna be doing some RZM, guys. Uh, I really just want to clear my map a little bit, uh, take out the base. You know what I'm saying? You know how it goes. Cause we're 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 tired of being almost below 800 medals, and that's that's not okay. I will say though, once I get pretty tired, I'm actually gonna end the video, cause it was a long drive. Uh, the drive there was crazy though. Uh, pretty much, the drive there was fine up until it was like because it was a four-hour drive. Normally, it's like a three-and-a-half-hour drive, but okay. So the drive there was fine up until like my last hour because I knew there was gonna be snow. I knew there was possible of a lot of snow upcoming, and I left kind of late because I had to upload to some more videos or get them all like up, like, actually uploaded to YouTube and scheduled properly. Um, so when I left. It was like, I don't even know, 3.30 here, and it, the GPS original arrival time was like, uh, let's say, 7 o'clock. I didn't get there till like 8 o'clock, dude, because uh, when I got out of Madison, that which is me, which is like an uh, like hour from Platteville, I'd say, like hour and 20 minutes, it started to snow like crazy. If you guys saw my Twitter, you guys saw the inches and stuff, and like, uh, literally on the highway there was like if you guys don't know what one like if you don't know about driving in snowstorms like if you have a car you're pretty much screwed if you're on the highway and they didn't plow it or anything like it is bad you just you can't really pass anyone so you have to you're forced to stay behind like a vehicle that's going slower and then they're they're get, you're getting your stuff on your windshield from the snow but whatever that's besides the point so it was snowing pretty bad the plows were out, but they just got out, and uh, there was like a pile, or not a pile, but a lineup of like, I'd say like 50 cars, and I was right in the middle of it, so, like a lineup of 50 cars, we're all going 30 miles on a 70 mile an hour highway, because the roads are so bad, and we're all just kind of like, not going next to the person, and I saw like three cars in the ditch, uh, this was the first snowfall by the way, so maybe some people aren't used to driving in snow, but, yeah, like this is the second time I got caught in a snow snowstorm. The other time was when I was on my way home from school, and it was, it was like the same situation where I like, you don't want to go over 30 miles an hour because otherwise your tires just gonna spin. You might spin out and go in the ditch. And when that happens, like the cars just like all go the same speed, and you pretty much you just dick who's ever is like the head is like, and the head is like dictating which how fast you're going. I know this is a terrible explanation, but just think of like a traffic jam, but on one side of the road with snowing like crazy and you're literally just like sitting on your steering wheel like oh god and then you're like always pump pumping your brakes because the other person in front of you is slowing down speeding up a little bit so yeah that's how the drive there was um and we were we were actually all just driving behind a uh a snow plow and snow plows go pretty slow but like that was actually good because then we got some traction in the road so yeah 30 miles for like an hour and a half on the highway that was rough or normally it should take like an hour and a half. It was like two hours, two hours and 30 minutes, and that was rough. <laughs> so the snowstorm, we got there safe though, that's all that mattered. 
And then I stopped at Culver's and got something to eat, you know what I'm saying. And then we pretty much just, when I got there, actually just played Battlefront and Black Ops 3 for like the entire night. And that was, that was the end of the first night there. And then Sunday night, before I left, we watched the Packer game, so it was all good, dude. But the drive there was crazy. It was pretty stressful, I'm not gonna lie. My dad warned me, he's like, You know, Ben... Oh god, I didn't, I didn't reinforce. You know, Ben, you should leave a little bit earlier. You know it's gonna be snowing later. And I was like, eh, I know how to drive in snow, but... Which is true. Um, I'd say, like, I'm pretty experienced driving in the snow, but it's never fun. Especially when you're on long, long drives and you have to... It, it's not <laughs> it's not good but either than, other way other than that let's let's not talk about it uh, because we made it safe and sound so it doesn't even matter and it's like seriously though you, if you guys never seen snow or anything never been in snow check my Twitter and just look at like the parking lot of like the cars or the pictures I have and my car actually looks pretty cool like with the snow on it it looks sweet normally it looks a lot cooler than it normally does let's just say that so and that's when I was actually at the Culver's parking lot, so it was pretty cool. It was a pretty cool drive after I made it there. <laughs> the snow looks, the snow look like does look pretty beautiful on the scenery and whatnot, but it just sucks driving in it when it falls. The next day, though, when the roads are all clear, it's fine. That, that leads me to my next question, though. Like, how many of you that watch, like, have never actually seen snow or with your own eyes, or, like, witnessed a snowfall? Because I know there's actually quite a lot of people like maybe you're I don't know maybe you're from like Arizona or like California I know California maybe never really gets it but either way we're destroying the base Dave D going down he had, he had a ton of resources too and you can tell it's really late at night guys because I'm starting to ramble sorry you know you know how it goes when I get tired <laughs> Oh, yeah, it was, it was freaking cold, though. Um, it was, like, 18 degrees at, like, 8 o'clock at night. It was freezing, man. And all I had was, like, a... Well, it's a warm... I don't know how to describe it. It's not, like, a full-on winter jacket, but it's, like, a... It's almost, like, a... It's, like, a, it's like a not a winter jacket, but it's, it is. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's not like one of those huge coats, but it's got some insulation in it. I, I don't know how to describe it, but that's the only kind of jacket I had, and it was not keep. It was not getting the job done, because I was still really, really cold. This guy does have some ice. I think this is gonna be the last attack, actually, guys. I'm gonna. I'm getting a little tired. You can definitely tell by my nonsense that's what we're talking about today. All right, there we go. No shock blasters this time. We'll drop critters where the mines are. Boys. Um, I don't really want to shock anything just yet. We'll just drop critters. You don't know what to drop, just drop critters. <laughs> They'll get the job done. And I kind of do want to take out the rocket. But I don't have enough UBE, so we'll just shock it, I guess. And then we'll drop some more critters. We'll actually do one more attack after this, guys. I lied. Sorry. And there we go. One thing I did, I was kind of mad about, though, is when I got back, I tried to have, like, a glass of milk. And I didn't really check the expiration date, and it was expired. So we had to spit that out. So, yeah. <laughs> That's the one bad thing about being gone for a few days. And I, I don't know why. Usually I always check the expiration dates, because, like, I don't know if you've ever had, like, at school, did you ever have it where, um, you, cause you expect, when you get your little mi milk carton from lunch, you expect it to be pristine, not spoiled, and whatever, but every once in a while, some kid gets a spoiled the little milk carton for lunch, and ever since that happened, I was just like, oh, dude, I cannot, it's like, Pff, get this crap out of my mouth. So I hate, I hate, like, spoiled milk, dude, it, for those of you that have had it, it is god awful, and especially like I don't know how many of you actually that happened at school, but you're like, "Hey, uh, lunch lady, this is expired. Can I get another milk carton?" And they're like, "Oh, sorry, yeah, go get one." And then I don't know. Yeah, that's how the story of why I check the milk expiration date all the time, except for today. 
So ever since then, I would just always check the milk carton when I picked it up from the... Picked it up from the school thingy, I don't even know what it's called. The freezer, where the milk sits, or the, the fridge thing. It's not even like a fridge, it's just like a box where they put the crates in. And then that translated to me always checking the expiration date on like... All my food that I eat now, pretty much. Like if it's over the expiration date... There's a good, there's like a pretty good chance I'm probably not gonna indulge in eating it. Depends what it is. If it's like meat, maybe like a day past. If it's like something I I if it's like deli meat, but other than that, uh, not really. There we go. Took down Mary Sulan. Nice, nice, nice. But, guys, yeah, I'm pretty tired, like I stated, so I think we're going to call it a night. We'll give him the smiley face. Yeah, I think we're going to call it a night, and maybe tomorrow I'll be streaming Dr. Terror. Maybe I won't be on Mob Crush. We'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Well, actually, this is going to be up at, like, when I get up in the morning. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like it, and don't subscribe for more Boom Beach videos if you're not ready. Hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, and I'll see you guys later.